Welcome back to Arise Entertainment 360. Now our first guest is an American civil rights activist, Baptist minister and politician. He's also the founder and president of the Rainbow Push Foundation. Here to share information about the 21st annual Wall Street Project Economic Summit is a legendary, iconic Jesse Jackson Sr. Thank you for being here, Reverend. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. Nice to have you here, Reverend. man. Yes. It's, it's, you know, as our struggle evolves, we're free but mm -hmm. not equal. Uh, it's the fourth stage of our struggle. I would make the case that the first 246 years was slavery. We had no right, wives were bound to respect, work without wages. The second stage was Jim Crow, which was so akin to slavery. We 5,000 blacks were lynched without one single indictment. Mm -hmm. They had the right to vote. None of those dealt with the issue of a access to capital or uh, industry. Yeah. So the fourth stage is access to capital, industry and technology and deal flow. And so it is, is, where, is where is the money? Mm -hmm. Church pension funds, labor pension funds, uh, tax subsidies, uh, ba bank subsidies, uh, city, county, kind of state tax subsidies. Mm -hmm. All these downtown buildings, they're not built because of because cash money. Of it. Somewhere mm -hmm. between tax subsidy and pension and hedge fund money, that's, that's for the, the, and we don't have access to that kind of money, and we, mm -hmm. we demand it. But you're hoping that that will change with your economic summit that you're doing well, now in this 21st it, it, year. It must, as, as we get to that stage, for example, we did a lot of work the last few years out on, on Silicon Valley, mm -hmm. getting blacks on boards of directors. The chairman of the board now of um, Microsoft is, is uh, John Thompson, a Florida mm -hmm. AM graduate of mine. He succeeded Bill Gates. Uh, we have uh, Jim Bell on the board now of Apple, Deborah Lee on the board of Twitter. Mm -hmm. Uh, Ken Chenault now on the board of Facebook, so we are oh, wow. people in the face of these boards. But the next step is C-suites, people who really mm -hmm. run day-to-day -day stuff. But more, but more than that, uh, boards and C-suites is that the procurement list. These kind of use ad agencies and marketing and lawyers. The whole range of stuff they use, we we'll lock out of that too. So it's really the, it's about economics. It's mm -hmm. not about public accommodation. We've got mm -hmm. that. Mm -hmm. All the right, but we have that. It's about access to capital and, and, and technology. I love that. And what, what exactly is the Rainbow Push Coalition? A multiracial coalition demanding a, a reciprocal trade. When you look at, uh, you, you go to a given, you fly an airplane into New York or Chicago or LA, you'll see a single building built by African Americans. Mm -hmm. Now, why is that? There's nothing wrong with us. If, mm -hmm. you, can't, if you can't borrow money, uh, uh, you, you lend the folks you know, trust and like. We're not known, not trust, not like. We don't get our share, mm -hmm. our share of the capital, you know? Uh, the, 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 the new big stadiums, the big ball parks, mm -hmm. cities, cities give a big tax deal, mm -hmm. hotels give a big tax deal, they get some pension money and, and, and then they control it all. So the, just the science of the system. And now we're in a stage where we are, uh, Trump brags about more blacks are working than ever before. Mm -hmm. Fact is, that's a, a Barack trajection, tra tra trajectory. But more than that, if, if, you, if, you're, working, if you're working more, and they, and they take away health insurance, and you pay more for insurance. If you're working more, and then you can't pay the cost of tuition because student loan debt's greater than credit card debt. Yeah. You, you, you're working more, but and they take away your house because of, uh, of, of targeting and, and steering. So it's, we, we, the, the equality gap must be closed, not just the employment gap. It's the equality gap must, that must be closed. Do you feel that President Trump will do anything to help close that gap, or would he just take credit for the gaps that Obama has just closed? That's all he has done. As a matter of fact, he has made the gap wider because the tax bill, in effect, it took $26 billion from the poorest people and shifted to the, wealth, to the wealthiest people. Mm -hmm. So, so the, 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 those who had less got less, those who had more got more. Mm. That's not the way to Just close the gap. widening the gap. Mm -hmm. So on the subject of President Trump, what are your expectations for his State of the Union address tonight? The expectations are low. Uh, if he jumps up and touches the basement, I'll be very surprised. <laughs> but what I, but what I like that he'll, he'll take credit for black unemployment being low. Mm -hmm. Well, not the fact he undercut the cost of, for example, uh, more than twice as many black families own businesses as, as black families. It's access to capital. Mm -hmm. who, who gets money to get the car dealership? 45% of black families uh, uh, own homes, 75% of white families own homes. Wow. Mm -hmm. Three quarters white, yeah. one quarter yeah. black. Our net worth is 130,000, there's 933,000. Wow. So the, the gap between have and have nots is, is what must be dealt with. And that must be done in a very strategic kind of way. Mm -hmm. I also think that this issue of uh, these barriers, these trade barriers, we share 2,000 miles of border with Mexico. Mm -hmm. 
number three trading partner behind China and Japan is, is Mexico. So if we stop trading them, they stop trading us, we, we lose, mm -hmm. for example. Uh, we should be working with their government to work at a plan to reduce the number of, of, of illegal immigrants. But, but the more you create trade and jobs, people like to stay home in the first place. Mm -hmm. You cannot lock folk out because they're Muslim. Mm. Uh, that, and the courts have struck that down, but mm -hmm. the country's in such tension over locking out Muslims and locking out refugees and, and creating Nazis and KKK with, mm -hmm. with the civil rights de demonstrators. We've never seen such hostility before coming from, from the White House. And yet our spirit is so resilient. You know, in spite mm -hmm. of all of the Trump tweets and all of this stuff, we still won the race in, 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 in New Jersey. We got a, a black lieutenant governor mm -hmm. now. We still won the race in Virginia. We got a black lieutenant governor now. We still won the race in Alabama. One of the three votes was African American. So, and so I expect in 2018, no matter what Trump says, no matter what he does, we're going to take the House and Senate back this year because we, mm -hmm. we, have, we have the votes and we're going to fight for it. Okay. I like that. We're going to fight for it. That. And we want to talk to you a little <laughs> bit more. So don't go anywhere. We want to continue this conversation. We come back after the break, all right? Indeed. Okay, we'll be right back. <laughs> Welcome back to Arise Entertainment 360. We're still sitting with Reverend Jesse Jackson, the man himself. Thank you again for joining us. <laughs> and we, Thank you so much. We have to talk a little bit about your legacy and yes. your, your history because you were there. You were one of the people marching with Martin Luther Front King Jr. And, and we're now at the 50th uh -huh. anniversary of his assassination. Well, you know, uh, uh, seven of our classmates, now we were jailed trying to use the public library in Greenville, South Carolina. That's mm -hmm. part of my work, pulling those walls down. I was there when he gave them speeches in March on Washington. And Today he gave that speech from Texas to Florida to Maryland. We couldn't use a single public toilet. Wow. Black and brown soldiers to sit behind knots of prisoners of war on American military bases. Talking about Kaepernick bound on one knee. Mm -hmm. Black soldiers could not, they, the flag meant more to the, to the Nazis than it meant to us, for example. And, and then another phase was the right to vote, which was the crown jewel of our struggle. Mm -hmm. uh, the president, the attorney general, says that the right to vote was the infringement upon the South. It has made a new South, made wow. a new America. We went from the bridge in Selma in 1965 to the White House in 2008. We built a new coalition. Blacks could not vote. White women, white women couldn't serve on juries. 18 years couldn't vote. You couldn't vote on college campus. You couldn't vote bilingually. We changed that, and we changed the country. So, But do you think things have changed, really, a lot of things that we're going through in today's society? Well, we had such a deep, deep hole to come out of. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, our will to fight must not change. Mm. The, the, the head of the winds may become stiffer. And I think about, in spite of what Trump, I, when I looked at the big game between Alabama and Georgia, the big college game this mm -hmm. year, and the, the millions of people watching it, I cannot have a thing about George Wallace in the school door saying you can't come here, mm. and Lester Max with the axe house saying you can't come here. Mm -hmm. Watch those black and white kids play together and function, learn how to live together. And when you look at the Super Bowl game, in just a few days from now, it'll be 80 percent blacks on both sides of the ball. Mm -hmm. uh, in my in my childhood, only you know only blacks couldn't, couldn't play professional football. Certainly mm -hmm. couldn't play quarterback. So I, in spite of the, the the Trump setbacks, there's a tug of war for the soul of America. We must not give up, hold, give up the rope. And people who, who who don't vote give up the rope, mm -hmm. and no one has earned the right to give up the rope if they expect progress. But mm -hmm. buttressing Shannon's point in terms of whether things have changed, societally speaking, do you think where do you think the state of race relations are currently in today's political climate versus where they were 10, 20, or even 30 years ago? Well, the climate in, in, in many ways is hostile because Trump has aroused so many fears among white people. Mm -hmm. You have white people, for example, who were against Obamacare before affordable health care. <laughs> same, so they, same thing. So they, right. they, they, they didn't want the eggs. They had been scared into, into becoming irrational. Uh, pre pre President Obama was good for, for white people. He, we came in office, we lost 800,000 800, jobs that month. The net gain of jobs every month for eight, for four, for eight years. Mm -hmm. uh, 25 million Americans had health insurance who never had it before, many of whom were his staunch enemies. Uh, Cuba's back in the fold, climate change. Uh, agreements which will save people like Puerto Ricans and, 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 and the Caribbean and, 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 and from going on, on the water. So you look at eight years of progress, now you see him turning the clock back. Mm -hmm. The clock can go back, but time ain't going back. We're going mm -hmm. forward. So <laughs> what can we do to still increase opportunities for people of color, for mm -hmm. women? You know, because if the clock is going back, we're losing those privileges of opportunities. Well, one thing is vote. Mm -hmm. uh, we, we, we've lost some big races by the margin of, of surrendering our vote. We won some big ones this year by youth number. We won, I, I repeat, we won in Virginia. 
Uh, one guy embraced the Confederate flag, I got didn't, he won. One guy embraced the same kind of uh, violent rhetoric in Alabama, he lost, we won. Same as true, we didn't have two black lieutenant in the government. That's just the beginning. If we take the Congress to the House back this year, Trump will be less able to impose upon us okay. his will, because we, we have a weapon. When Donald came to life for 50 years, we didn't have the weapon, we, we had hope, now we have the vote. So you can hope and vote at the same time. Mm -hmm. The audacity of hope. Yes, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> now, in the lead up to Black History Month, we have to ask, how will you be celebrating? Well, a lot of teaching. You know, one thing is that you cannot spend more than you have mm. and vote less than you have and make progress. Mm -hmm. You can't spend more than you make yeah. and vote less than you have and make progress. That's what. The other thing is that our journey is not so immediate. We, we, we will, will have been here 400 years next year, 2019. Mm. We, we came in 16, 19, 20, 400 years, mm. 246 years in legal slavery, mm -hmm. uh, 100 years in legal Jim Crow, extension of slavery, all those, all those lynchings. And yet we come out of that bloody but not bound. We are a determined people, and I'm impressed with what we've done, uh, given, given how where we've come from, mm -hmm. be, be inspired. We've come a long way, and you were part of that, as we mentioned yeah. earlier, marching with King, and now at the 50th anniversary of his assassination. You talk about teaching, so what is the most important thing you think you learn alongside Dr. Martin Luther King? Yeah. Well, one of the strong minds breaks strong chains. Nothing mm. the, the, like the Bill of Mind. Dr. King finished high school at 15, mm -hmm. finished college at 19, he has mm -hmm. seminary degree at 22 and PhD at 26. Wow. Strong minds break strong chains. Uh, the second piece of it is that leveraging your votes into coalitions and leveraging your dollars into, into build economic coalitions. And, and thirdly, lastly, is and when you choose issues, be, be morally right. Mm -hmm. Right has been, a, Rosa Parks was mostly right. Mm -hmm. Those who marched for the right to vote were mostly right. There's something about being, there's a power in just being morally right in the issues that you have. And I met this week, Reverend Y.T. Walker mm -hmm. died. Mm -hmm. One of the big four pillars of Birmingham, mm -hmm. Fred Shelsworth, Reverend Abernathy, Dr. King, mm -hmm. Y.T. Walker. And he matched Kayla, mm -hmm. a, a, a globe trotter against yeah. apartheid. A, Classic musicians, we, we remember them in very, very dear and loving ways. Mm. So, speaking of these legends that you just mentioned, mm -hmm. of course, there are many youth of ethnic minorities who are looking for leadership positions in the future. What advice would you give them? Um, Ahmed Baraka's son is now mayor of Newark. Mm -hmm. there, there was, there was only, we, had to, we went to a kill, now we go through a door. You can run for school board and City Council, State Legislature, and Congress, and, and Senate, and government. There's nothing we cannot do. And so, and so, like, don't cry about it, go for it. If we go for it, we, if, you lose, if you win, you might lose, you don't win, you don't run, you're guaranteed to lose. So fight back. Yeah, I mean, that's a good point, because I mean, you've been deep fighting water, back. Deep water does not drown you. You drown when you stop kicking. Don't stop <laughs> kicking. Ooh, don't stop kicking. I like And you that. have never stopped kicking. I can't believe you've been in almost every movement, empowerment, and you know, economic, social justice movement there has been. What do you say to those people who are negative and say, you know, the Rainbow Push Coalition, the NAACP, National Urban League, things like that are not doing anything for this generation? What do you say to those people? Every generation has its own set of, for example, there are 500, top 500 corporations, only 50% have a black on the board of directors. Fight for that. You, you, you can buy shares of stock and, and fight in shareholders meetings. Fight for that. Uh, you, you got colleges you can go to, go, go to them and then vigorously commit yourself to an academic excellence, fight, fight for that. Mm -hmm. uh, in New York and Pennsylvania and, 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 and California and Michigan, you can only vote one day. You have no mm -hmm. early voting, mm -hmm. fight for that. You should, you should, you should have automatic voter registration. But there, there are things to fight for and issues to fight, uh, fight about. I look at the kind of work that Reverend Shopton does, the kind of work that the Urban League and Mark Marielle does. That's right to be done, and people are doing it. The Black, black yeah, Caucus yeah. is protesting. And you're doing it as well. Tell people one more time where they can get more information about the Wall Street Project for the Economic Summit you're put on. Well, first, 773 Freedom on the phone, 773 Freedom. Mm -hmm. And I will be at the Sheraton Hotel. The, the, the Wednesday night, the 7th, we're going to have a town hall meeting on where is the money. Mm -hmm. Urban League, Black Enterprise, and the like. Uh, Reverend Al Shopton, Reverend Mark Mar Brother Mark Morial. We're going to talk about where is the money as an e e economist. And then Thursday is a major minister's luncheon that day. We want a thousand churches to get in those uh, inter Sunday school space, about 20 laptops, teach our children apps and codes, teach them 
uh, finance literacy, literacy and stock market mm. games, teach them how to function. That's, That's amazing. This so this is February 7th, mm -hmm. 8th, and 9th yeah. at the okay. Sheraton Hotel? In New York City. In New right. York City. Thank, Thank you, you so much for joining us, Rav. Not worthy. <laughs> not worthy. <laughs> Thank you. Well, Thank I'm you worthy. Right. <laughs> Thank you for having for joining us, Sam. Yeah, and we will so be much. right back with more Rise <laughs> Entertainment 360. <laughs> Thank you so Good much. Job. You know what you're talking about, right?